All right, what I have done here while I'm waiting to figure out what I'm going to do with that wayward satellite and Minmus Orbit is I have decided to do something with the box set mod and I have this cute little diminutive rocket made out of some an A's engine, some KW fuel tanks, some KW fairings, and tucked away in here is my mystery little prize which we're going to toss into orbit once I remember to throw on a functioning reflectron onto my carrier. There. Launch. This is just me playing around with it. It's not really going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to see how this works. I didn't even check to see how much it cost really. That's how sloppy I am today. But hey, look at daylight launch. We like that. That's a good thing. So let's go. So the solar engine only makes 170 kilonewtons of thrust, but makes uh, okay atmospheric uh, specific impulse. Void seems to think this will be enough to carry me out into orbit, or maybe it's past atmosphere. We'll see. I think it's a little bit. Um, oh, what's the word I want to use? Optimistic, but Void has surprised me before before on how accurate it was at times. So we'll see. I actually think I might need to throttle down just a little bit. Mm, it seems to be drifting a little bit like it doesn't really like... Uh... Oh, I know why. This engine is not gimbaled. So you know what? We're going to revert that. And we're going to try that again with a gimbaled engine. I suppose I could toss fins on here, but that just increases drag, so we won't do that. So let's go ahead and select an appropriate engine. Sure, we can do that. A bit high on the thrust to weight ratio, but that's alright. This may be just barely not enough to get us in orbit. With the additional weight of the engine. So let's go ahead and do this. This will also increase my... That actually might be enough to get single stage to orbit with this thing. That would be cool. I'm all for that. TWR is a bit low. That's okay too. And now that we have engine gimbling, I should have no problems getting this thing into space. Oh, frame rate sucks. Why is that? That's rather strange. Oh, there we go. My frame rate dropped to 12 frames a second all of a great sudden. And I added... Well, I really didn't add anything. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> I got two of these dipoles. Hey, I don't need two of you. Yeah, I haven't been able to play KSP as much as I'd like recently, so I think my skills are suffering as a result. My normally mediocre gameplay is turning into something a little more slapstick, I guess? Forgetful? Complacent? Not sure what the word is I'm going to use there. Check on my Minna station. Plenty of things. Back off some. I'll just go ahead and ride that up. Now we can turn. Throttle up some. So I'm used. This has the box sat itty bitty little uh, probe core in it has a little Kerbal face in it. And so I get a little bit of basic controls with it. There's an optional config fire file you can throw onto the, uh, your game data, which improves the probe core to something a little more um, powerful, more features on it. But I went with the basic one that came with it. We can back off quite a bit now. We're 
going to go ahead and run this out of atmosphere. Backing off some. the shrouds and we'll activate our dipole. Wow, 90 charge a second. What are you? You're 15 in a second? 12 million meters? Good golly. Alright. Alright, now that I got this thing on a path out of atmosphere, circularize that. All for less delta V than what I'm carrying in the stage. Now that I'm pretty much out of atmosphere, I can turn these on. See how these look. Extend panels. That's so cute. I think I like this mod. My little box hat. Oh, now I have good frame rate. Away from Kerbin. <laughs> My frame rate's all over the place. I don't understand. pop that off there and I have 376 meters per second to play within low curve in orbit so yeah now that we're here we can log some temperature data let's transmit that home we got this guy here the sensors stick out of the back of the unit Let's lock, oh, I can't lock pressure data. Duh. Don't think you can do seismic data up here. Duh. Oh, no connection. Send command on. Low power relay. What do I got? 109. 81. I'm almost done, babe. Huh? I'm almost done. That's okay, I know how to edit, for reals. <laughs> Come back around and get a connection with KSC again. There we go. All right, let's do this. Oh, I did that one already. And I can't do that anyway. Go figure. So yeah, it's pretty cute, isn't it? So all the little modules are kind of shoved in there. In the casing, there's four per box, so I have a double box. So I have eight modules that I was able to put in. I do have some monopropellant, not much of it, but I do have some monopropellant. And I got an all four corners, so I can actually go. I can make these solar panels hate my guts. What's their tracking speed at? Is that a good tracking speed? There you go. They can track. Wow, they make good power. Like almost five units of electricity. Man, that's crazy. It's like 4.8 or something. And then there's these little goobers here which don't make anything right now, but I can bring those up to some juice. Let's see how much they make. Wow, 1.6? These things are OP. 
They're way better than OX stats, and I think they have comparable weight. Well then. But it's cute. I like it. It's a cute little thing. I think it's definitely a keeper. Midget little ant engine here. Well, it's the A's version of an ant engine. It makes a little more power than an ant. I think it makes two thrust. See? Lovely. A 60 frame rate. Anyway, that was that. And I will talk to you all later. You all have a good day.